Hello everyone, my name is Ashoka Said. I am a fourth year computer engineering student at Egypt Japan University of Science and Technology and today I will be the presenter for our paper Arabic music classification and generation using AI and, and I want to extend our, uh, um, our my gratitude for such an opportunity to present our paper on uh, this very important two conferences uh, so Start with our uh, agenda for today. We have paper overview, data preprocessing, classification task, generation, and then conclusion. Uh, for our paper overview, uh, our main goals for this project was collecting huge Arabic music data and then uh, distinguishing between different composers by using deep neural networks um, uh, architectures, uh, which is the classification task, Arabic, Arabic uh, composers classification, and then generating a new sound or trying to um, uh, analyze this approach and uh, see uh, what is the results will be uh, uh, so this is a generation task so let's start with our data set and our biggest uh, um, uh, contribution in this pro project as uh, to our uh, best knowledge we are the first uh, uh, to work on such data or collect such data uh, we collected uh, 256 Arabic songs, music only, ranging from 2.5 minutes to 50 minutes in length through team members' individual efforts. Uh, we collected the data. We removed the sound words from the, uh, the sound words from the data, and we labeled the data ourselves uh, and gathered these data for 21 unique singer, singers and composers. And uh, then we narrowed our classification task to 11 specific Arabic composers from different eras, uh, old uh, composers and modern composers, and concentrated our generation task on classical Arabic music uh, composers. For the data pre-processing task, we adopted uh, the uh, same steps for generation and the classification task. For the audio pre-process, we start with segment the audios into uh, equal clips and then do the normalization for each uh, clip. And then we do feature extraction using three different approaches and we tested this uh, three different approaches. Uh, for the first one, we use MFCCs, which is a representation of short-term power spectrum and it plays a significant role in capturing the important uh, important features of sound signal and then we uh, use the mel spectrogram it's another representation of short term power spectrum um, and it captured by dividing the uh, audio into overlapping frames and then taking Fourier transform for each frame and uh, and then uh, transform into a uh, metal uh, pulse uh, and for the local spectrograms it takes the same approach as metal spectrogram and the only difference is the logarithmic transformation it did to ensure uh, that the output uh, resemble the, the human perceptually uh, relevant and we used other techniques like data augmentation uh, techniques and I will talk about this, this, these techniques in the uh, modeling part. For the classification part, we conducted five different experiments. For the experiment one, we used all the data without evenly distribu distributed the data uh, among the composers. So uh, the results uh, as appeared in front of you uh, has very large um, overfitting and the model uh, we used uh, consists of uh, two convolution layers, uh, then uh, one uh, two dense layers and one for the output. For the second experiment, we split the data evenly and uh, Compared to the previous one, training and validation uh, became more close to each other, so the overfit, the overfitting is reduced by very, very small amount. And this model architecture uh, was simpler than the previous one, and it wasn't our best move in uh, this trials. For the third trial, 
we splitted the data and using mill spectrograms for feature extraction and this we changed the model we used more complex models to um, uh, to be able to uh, take um, uh, and take and uh, process more features and the results uh, in the test accuracy the results uh, were improved and uh, in validation uh, compared to training and test it's not improved uh, by any way then our fourth experiment we use that augmentation techniques like beat shifting and time stretching uh, this two different uh, approaches uh, we stretch the audio in uh, some specific times uh, and we shift the pitch of the audio as well the results in this experiment was much better than previous ones and with uh, using the same models and for the last one we uh, increase the augmented data and using a frequency masking technique frequency masking technique enhances the audio quality and by reducing the noise in the audios in specific parts and uh, we use the same model as the previous uh, as, as previous two experiments and the results were much more better than the previous one the overfitting is reduced by a great amount compared to the previous experiments the um, model uh, was able to get all composers right except one or two and for the generation task we uh, used the variational autoencoder approach on classical Arabic music as I said before we worked on 75 songs and segmented these songs we used the encoder architecture and decoder architecture uh, in between these two architecture we have latent space uh, in which the model learn how to um, learn how uh, how to uh, emphasize the data distribution and know the data distribution then after training the model we did post processing steps to generate the audios by reshaping log spectrograms then apply denormalization uh, extract the spectrograms itself apply gravel limb uh, algorithm to convert spectrograms to audios and we choose random five spectrograms to convert them to audios and a user study with 10 participants who listen to post audios before and after our generation experiment and they confirmed that two, um, the two samples exhibit similar, similar patterns which is a good initial steps in such a complex uh, domain as as the Arabic music songs consist of complex instrumental patterns and we need more than these epochs and uh, more computational power and more time to uh, achieve this uh, small step in um, uh, emphasize the same pattern of uh, Arabic music task and we recommend in our paper to use more complex models after that like GANs and different types of GANs it will be very good foundational approach in uh, composers um, composers uh, audio uh, generation and then for the conclusion of our project we uh, we, th we thought that we contributed to the field of Arabic music classification and generation by providing new insights, new data, new analysis approach in this domain. And our experiments highlights how the important is the data pre-processing and its impact of using different data augmentation techniques, data pre-processing techniques. And that's it.